I saw on your website that um, the BPC is um, is a uh, uh, blog with uh, the, the, your name on it that says the the bill is due. Lawmakers need to address our growing public debt. And I, I take it you're going to be doing a series of uh, reports on just, you know, how the growing debt does affect like housing, for example, or, uh, you know, I, I don't that that's one that you've already got up there. But I think that that's really important to to give people a sense of, you know, it's not just these are not just like scary numbers. They they have real world consequences. That's exactly right. And that's, you know, part of this campaign that we're launching here at BPC this month is really doing just that. We're trying to explain and, well, not really, and really explore, you know, how our fiscal challenge is related to industries and issues that we all care about and, and many of us prioritize in different ways. So, for example, right, as we see, um, you know, great news that the Fed um, has, uh, you know, starting to, to curb interest rates, but at the same time, you know, we 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 want to be able to connect, you know, the the cost of debt servicing and the importance of those higher interest rates that we just witnessed over the past few years. How now that's impacting the um the amount of debt that we're now the the cost of just servicing that borrowing that we've taken on over the past few years. And so we're going to be doing this through we're going to be um kind of exploring this campaign through many different sectors. We're going to be looking at um, the importance of uh, of looking at the our fiscal challenges, the national security issue, um, looking at the importance of um, investing in clean in clean energy. And if we um, if our debt service if servicing the debt is outpacing you know programs such as spending for for the military, spending for Medicare and Medicaid. Yeah. <laughs> you know, how can we then ensure that we are able to prioritize and um and invest in uh key key priorities such as you know like I mentioned clean energy and education and um uh, and workforce development. And so we're gonna be um putting out a number of products over the over the next months that um really look at and explain this issue through the lens of of different you know, sectors and industries that we all touch and care about in many different ways, with the hopes of kind of showing that this is an interrelated intergenerational issue, but we have time to fix it now, but it is exactly now that's the time to act. Well, you know, you, you, one of the things that is just astounds me is that you mentioned investments. Most of them come from the discretionary side of the budget, either non-defense yeah. discretionary or, or through the defense budget. Uh, you could eliminate all discretionary spending and we would still have a deficit. I mean, the growth of the mandatory spending and interest on the debt is consuming so much revenue that that all investments are getting squeezed. And I, you know, I think that that really does have a profound potential impact and, and a negative one on uh, whether or not we're going to be able to grow the economy and have a, uh, a sound national defense.